Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gallic Creek's Peace War in the West. As we are currently working out our order of battle with our air forces, and I'm about to take a drink of coffee here. And as ever, my coffee's cold. Okay. Okay, I'll... So these are the air bases that they have control of. Like that one, for instance, okay. <sighs> ah. Right, so this is uh, ground support, okay. So these are the ones that are within range. Um, which command does this belong to? I wish you could see. Ah, bloody hell. Okay, fine, let's get on with this then. I believe they represent, um, they are... Right, so the Hermann Goering Panzer Division. I imagine they will be under the 6th Italian Army, um, so we'll assign our planes to ground support the 6th. Okay. Indeed. Ground headquarters. Look for the sixth army. Right, here we go, the sixth army. Uh, that is that core, which is not the one I want. That's that one. I wish I knew which command this division was under. But if I select the... Sixth Army, then that should be automatic. So we'll confirm that uh, directive. So there we go. I will cancel that one. So we have this sorted. Uh, reconnaissance is over here. That's completely bloody pointless. I don't know why we need it over there. Uh, we will run reconnaissance over this area here. We will change it, actually. Uh, actually, we'll change the area. Oh, target, sorry. So I'll change the target to, in fact, uh, go for about here. Then I can change that area to, well, uh, let's try four now. Right, okay, I see. Try five. That gets all the ports over here. We'll go for about six. And seven. There we go, that gets everybody. Intensity will be high. I do need to find out what's going on. Minimum would be poor. Okay. I would not have them follow the path, so basically that would be to follow this path here, uh, which could potentially be bad. Right then, uh, schedule day two, day five, day seven. Uh, so that means they will fly three days in the week here. I think I will have this changed up, so we have day one, day three, day five, day seven. So we'll run four flights instead of the three. Righto. That will be good for me. Superiority is going to be run. Where has it been run? No, why? Why the hell? I do not need it there. I need it over here. Um, in fact, let's see. So the um, allies have uh, level 2 air bases over here. Right, so this is the area we need to achieve air superiority over due to the fact there's just so many of them. Oh, so we're running flights from that airbase, okay. Area will be, um, try three hexes. No, that's far too large. Try two. Two should be sufficient. Day, night, we'll have... We could run night, actually. I don't think running night would be worthwhile due to the fact there's not going to be much running at night. Uh, night bombing is a thing, of course, but I doubt they will be doing it over here. And, um, I basically want to protect my troops in the day. Groups, okay. 
Uh, 40 BF 109 Gs are... Oh. Yes, we have 40 of them ready. I'm gonna add some... Uh, no, that would not be a smart idea. In fact, let's see. Ah, oh, never mind, I can add these, okay. So we're gonna add some extra BF 109s into this... Aside to the air directive. Why are they inactive? I need them ready. Fighter bomber fighters, basically. Uh, so they're fighter bombers, but I think they have fighter training, is what it's trying to tell me. Uh, so apparently this is all we have ready right now, which is uh, right over here, so fair enough. That will have to do. Ground support is assigned to the 6th Army, we can see the range over here. Some, some decent range. Uh, so we'd be flying from this airport over here, apparently. Um, available air groups, these are all the ones we have available. Sign all air groups to the directive. Okay, and uh, we'll have that as done. Ground attack is taking place over here, which is completely pointless. Ground support. Radio. We've assigned all that we can, so we'll click done. And that's sorted. Now then. So that was uh, that air group. Um, I will have the Italian Luftwaffe uh, command support. Who are you supporting? You're supporting the Army Group C. Now, Army Group C comprises the 5th Panzer Army. Ah, I get it now. So probably, uh, these are probably in the 5th Panzer Army. Probably. Probably. I do wish I could tell which headquarters they were in. In fact, I may be able to do just that. Let's see. So if we go to production over here. Now uh, we'll go to production filter. Okay. So we're going to look for ground. I have it on good information that the Hermann Göring division will have some tigers. Uh, so we can see here we have capacity to build six. We have nine in our pool. Six have been built. Now six is obviously extra, um, obstructed. Ab abstracted? Abstracted. That's the word. And uh, so we can see we have six units with tigers. And here's the Hermann Göring division under the 6th headquarters. Yes, sorry. Right, I can also check their supplies right now. So imagine I could probably set up the air groups from here. Indeed I can. I can even see the air bases they're flying from. Righto. Uh, radio. Luftwaffe 2. Um, headquarters, headquarters, headquarters. So, nation is obviously German here. Uh, size, group, I think that's, uh, rep well, representing squadron, perhaps? Staff? Hmm, not entirely sure. Uh, reconnaissance, so type, yeah, fighter bomber. Location, airbase. Air directive. Okay. Hmm. You can even see the number of pilots we have. Uh, so in total we have apparently 4,574 pilots. For Germany, 4,535 are ready. Um, Italy, yeah, pretty much on the Romania and Bulgaria. Pools, so we've got again 37 pilots per turn with Germany. We have lost a lot from Italy here. But we, uh, essentially. I do want to be careful about the Italian Air Force. It is quite fragile, it would seem. So that's fair enough. We have 424 air groups. Um, so far we've killed 481 kill. Well, 481 kills. And... Okay. 7,890. Sorry. 7,889 aircraft in total with 7,211 uh, 7, ready. Reserve being about 80. 598 are damaged at the moment. Okay. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, so we can see here, uh, the replacements are set to trained pilots. That's fair enough. Obviously, if the situation was getting quite bad, we could change that. So, I do know now that the uh, Hermingaran Division is attacks the 6th Army. So, ground support would be 2v6. There we go.
no idea why they want to con here. Well, they were con uh, flying from here and um, it's either from there. I'm not entirely sure, actually. <laughs> okay, so we'll run some reconnaissance flights over here. Right, yeah, so they are flying from uh, over here, actually. Well, they've selected that base. So, yes, I will set that doctrine. They will fly to here. Superiority in this area. Then again, I could do a superiority over in these areas as well. So that's not bad. In fact, I want superiority, or superiority over here. We'll have that area the size of two. Uh, that should be okay, I suppose. Both air phases, yeah, okay. I said that doctrine. Ground support to six. Ground attack is just this general area. I can make that 11 and we'll get everything in there, I do believe. Uh, I was hoping that we could get here, but I think we're already covering it. Okay. Medium intensity, high intensity, low intensity. We'll go with um, high intensity. Groups, what do we have assigned? I have an escort here. We'll have uh, all air groups assigned. So that's Focke Wolf 190Gs. Mm, apparently tactical bombers. Okay, armed with two 20mm cannons, uh, one 500kg bomb, and they have two 300 liter drop tanks. Okay. Now, if I go to this loadout over here... Right. I could, in fact, change this, I do believe. Uh, can I see what bombs they have? Right, let's see. Uh, so we can see here how this affects our performance over here. Can I see? Yes. So you can see here that basically doubles the weight. Or actually, I think that's the amount they can carry. Hmm. Airspeed does not change, apparently. I think it's the drop tanks that are causing issues. No. Hmm. Do I want to go with the 250s or the 500s? Uh, the 500s would obviously do more damage. Um, they obviously do have the larger blast radius due to the fact it's a larger bloody bomb. But I think if I go with the 250s, I think uh, because uh, it's a smaller piece of ordnance and um, therefore it should be easier to get, we should have more supply capacity with that. As obviously it's not so heavy. So I think I will go with the 250s. Yeah. So these are obviously external. Okay. Right, so at the moment we have no selected... Yeah, right, there we go. So now this is our loadout. And, um, yeah, let's just check here. So if I go back to none. So we can see here the max speed is 407 kilometers. Right, yes, right, here we go. So these are... The results here. So I'll go with the 250. So we'll carry one 250 kilogram bomb. Uh, we lose 66 kilometers here. So if I go for the 500, what kind of speed? Right, still 66. So I, I imagine it's just the plane's just capable of dealing with this. Climb rate is minus 452 meters per second. Sorry, feet per second. So if I compare climb rate. Right, okay. We're probably missing something here. But, uh, well, actually, no, it's still the same here. Uh, never mind, we'll go with the 500. Do I want to go with the 500? Oh. Soon as though we are receiving our supplies in Sicily by... Well, ferry, by ship, I'd be interested in preserving supplies. We're going to go with the 250. Okay, so there we go. That's sorted. Okay. Escort. So these are the planes that will escort these um, bombers, tactical bombers. 
I do have these guys, but they're inactive, so we'll leave them as they are. Okay. Done and dusted. Hmm. I'll allow... Oh, bloody hell. I'll allow North Command to take control. Right, the first Italian uh... Okay, so here we go, we can sort out the settings here. Naval Patrol. So we'd transfer planes to here and that would fly like so. Which is not a bad idea. In fact, um, actually what I'll do then is I'll have air superiority doctrine. Um, basically, I suppose over here, possibly. We'll see. Actually, I'd like to run uh, naval patrol. We'll go for... Uh, let's see, about here. Area, make it 10. Um, make it about 9, actually. No, 8, 8, mm, 6. 5? 4? 5 will do. Okay. They will fly from here. Okay. Sicilian. What do we have in this? So we have some fighter bombers over here. Right, so these are fairly slow. Decent machine gun armament. Okay. 20mm cannons, quite nice, and uh, nice machine guns. Uh, okay, speed, can't complain. Then we have some BF-109s as well here. Mm, they're about the same speed as the BF-109GS. Um, G6, sorry. Right, so we'll have them run air superiority. In fact, yeah, hmm... Yes, air superiority in this area here. No. Ground support instead then, I think. No, 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 yes, um, hmm. Ground support, yes. Of the six... Sign all available air groups. Confirm air directive, sir. Yeah. Okay, so to save time, I'm going to leave it as that. And uh, yes, because I could spend a hell of a lot longer on that, I'm pretty damn sure. Right, so directive summaries will go over here. Um, we'll have the north taken care of by the AI will have VARs sorted out here, so we're going to set air directives. Okay, and we'll go back down here, and then we'll execute. Okay, and uh, we'll sort out the Soviet soon. No. Hmm. I'll have the AI automatically manage units in air bases just for me. That should hopefully help me out. Okay. And... Sector directives. And execute. Okay. Now we'll watch this and see how bad it goes. I am patrolling that area over here. Mostly because I don't want to see any landings over here.
Okay, 92 lost. 88 damage. Right then, so we're now onto the ground. So, we'll review the supply situation then, shall we? So we are receiving supplies from over here. I'd love to build a depot over here. We have a construction. Ah, uh, right. Hmm. What do I have in the mainland? I do have some um, infantry over here. These are German infantry. Right, these are fantastic. I would very much like to have them on the mainland. Oh, I'm so sorry, sorry. Right, for God's sakes, man these ports. And ideally move up to that airfield. Right, we have an air command over here. Uh, we do have a bunch of panzers over here, actually. That's quite a number of panzers. Right. Um, who are you assigned to? Ah, right, I see. Rail. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna have men uh, brought into Sicily. Armor as well. We need to punch through the Americans. I do know there's a little bit of the weird numbers going on there. That's a little bit strange, but ah uh, well. There must be some kind of little issue here. Probably a little bug or something. Um, there might be a fix. I don't know. We'll have to find out. I'll get by. I'll get by. Okay. Right, so we can't unload them as of yet. Right, we have these forces over here as well. Uh, they will be moved via rail. Over here. They will be brought into Sicily in the following turn. Hopefully we'll be able to achieve a good amount of strength before it's too late. I do need to establish another depot to increase the supply efficiency of my forces in Sicily. Right, they will maintain position there. Radio. Okay. Now, ideally, I was hoping I could get a division to... Uh, actually, I can get this division over here. They can move via rail. That's fine. We'll have this uh, coastal brigade sent over here to Messina. This one can be sent over here. Uh, we have coastal here... Uh, we have some Italian motorized, but not much. Okay, so we have two. Uh, we have a coastal regiment and we have a coastal brigade. Really, not a lot of men here. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is, in fact, I'd love to try and dig in. I need to dig in in areas. Uh, we have the six. Sorry, we have the Panzer Grenadier. Right, that's the 164th Panzer Grenadier. Are you just a single brigade, basically? That would seem to be the case. Uh, now, I do have the option to move forward. And, uh, yes, I think we should do that. Uh, we do have these forces over here. We do not have the ability to move them out via rail, due to the fact that the rails have been uh, basically denied to us. And so I feel what we need to do then is mobilize this force. Right, so now they can move properly, due to the fact that they were static before. And uh, we are going to establish ourselves. Let's see. Oh, there's a static force. I'm going to have it. Right, it's definitely static, so it can't be moved. Righto. Uh, these forces will be mobilized. And. Hmm. There's not too much I can do right now due to the issues with supply. And let's see. Right, I can have you mobilized. We'll have you mobilized. Right, we are spending some of our administration points over here, but that's fine. Fuck. That was a bad move. Okay. 
I will have this airbase expanded, actually. Right then, so we do have a depot over here. It's just not efficient. So, well, basically, we'll choose the best depot to send resources from. So I suppose we don't need to worry about the uh, depot situation. Rightio. So we'll have these forces sent... Right, so what do we have here? 9,619 men, 138 guns, 32 armored vehicles. Uh, not much fuel. No, we have a decent amount of fuel. 94% fuel. Let's see. Uh, supply is a little bit low. Fuel's good. Ammo's pretty good. Support's fairly decent. Uh, so it's only the actual supplies themselves that we are a little bit light on the ground with. So what we could do, of course, is... Uh, well, what we need to do is consolidate, consolidate... And uh, decide our targets. Now, if I spread my men out, I'm not going to have much chance of success. And if I move my men via rails, I'm not going to be able to unload them. In this turn, at least. Um, so I'm going to form up this division of Panzergrenadiers, and I'm going to form them up over... Well, let's see. Are these men technically isolated this turn? Okay... Right, yes, these forces are isolated. That means I should destroy them with all due haste. Uh, so these uh, Panzer Grenadiers will be sent over here. They will destroy this group of American Airborne. Yes, we have the uh, 82nd US Airborne. Good. Retreated, but basically they're destroyed. So that's 2,000 men down and um, potential pain in the arse taken care of. Now then. So we have rough terrain here. We have clear terrain here. Clear here. Okay. So they have a level 2 airbase over here, but this is their greatest port in the city of Syracuse. <sighs> okay. Only just shy of 3,000 men. Though the first six guns will be of use, so what I will do is I will have this uh, force sent over here. There we go. A static. I will have them create a fortified point over here. I can't sign anything else, but this will gain troops. Now, ideally, I need to hold this position here so they will not advance any further up here. I will place these guys. I mean, I could go here. I do not have the ability, as of now, to repulse that group of... well, that division. Um, I could assign some infantry as well as some armor. That would help, but what we need to do is um, prioritize. So, supplies, ammunition. So, these guys are low on ammunition. Right, morale. So, morale's a little bit shaky, but it's very bad with the uh, Italians. Experience. So, they're not exactly too experienced, but they do have some. So. Supply. Sorry, ammunition is the most important one. Now, we're not too good on ammunition as well. But these guys have some decent ammunition. Um, so what we're going to do then is we're going to form up, I believe, on the Panzer Division here. Well, we'll form up over here. Okay, we'll form up. Thank you very much. Right then, so now we have a Panzer Grenadier Division. Let's change things. So I could move here, and um, we may have enough attack. Right, so we have 70 points left. That's great. So not enough for a full attack, but it should be enough to actually um, punch them. So I'm going to assign some support units over here of um, armor, some infantry. There we go. But alas, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of the episode. So, so thank you very, very much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed this. And I hope you to continue to stick with me and support the channel in the future. Sign some more infantry. There we go. Goodbye for now.